Hey guys and gals, uh, this is certainly not a regular episode, but it is something that I felt like I had to do. I talked to quite a few of you out there and even asked if you thought it would be too corny or even melodramatic to do a farewell message. Uh, the responses that I got from you guys were so incredibly positive about the idea that it helped me to decide to leave you guys with this so maybe you could understand where my head is at and possibly share in some of the closure that I am feeling. So uh, this is all written out because I knew I would forget it. So if it sounds like it's red, it certainly is. Uh, the last two and a half years on this podcast has been such an amazing journey for me uh, from not knowing a single thing about this new age version of radio to learning how to speak, when to speak, editing tricks, and everything that I've picked up over the years regarding podcasting. I, I never imagined all of this would last as long as it has, and I'm so incredibly grateful for it. I can honestly say that this podcast has helped shape the person that I became and has given me a new perspective towards life relationships and what is truly important when all is said and done. I really need to start where it has always started for me, uh, and that has been with you guys. The number of people that have helped me make this podcast uh, happen over the years is just absolutely astounding, and it warms my heart when I think about it. Uh, this is not a conclusive list, but... Jedi Legend, Tiamu, Chris Kurtz, Collectible, Christian Bogan, Ben Jones, Michael Miller, Eric Caves, Malcolm Rush, John Carl, Little Plastic Superheroes, and so many more people. Some uh, stopped listening to the podcast a long time ago, but certainly were part of it for a very long and important part for me uh, at the beginning. Um, I, I don't even have time to name all the people that were there, and this is just the people that I spoke to from Twitter and not from Facebook since Calder ran the Facebook, but if I would have had the time to build those relationships with you guys as well, I, I really would have tried. Um, but I, I actually had the privilege to get to talk to break bread with some of these people and just generally get to know uh, you guys over the years and it has made it all worth it for me uh, thank you so much and i can't thank you enough for the wonderful things that you guys have written in to calder and i when i first started the podcast i thought oh it's gonna be this fun little show that i get to do every once in a while uh, but when it really started to entirely shift for me is when listeners started reaching out to me to let me know that the podcast was helping them through rough times in their lives. General depression, hospital stays, divorces. I, I could not believe that this supposed fun little show had even that kind of impact. When I realized that, I had this epiphany that this show, for even just a small number of people, was what was helping them get through their weeks. And sometimes I realized that's all it took. And one shimmer of hope or happiness that keeps people going was more than enough for me to press record every week. When I started viewing it like that, I started caring less about the game itself and more about the relationships that I was building with you guys. And then I realized that those relationships were all that mattered about the show. And lastly, then I realized that those relationships were all that mattered about this game. Those relationships are the reason this community has thrived over the years as long as it has, and I hope it continues to do so with all of my heart. I hope you out there listening can maybe find some of the importance in this podcast that I have. And don't get me wrong, I love this game, but the game itself is not why we recorded 130-ish episodes. Calder and I actually spoke about this on the way back from Origins this year. 
We both loved the game, which led us to listening to the podcast, which in part brought us to together. Uh, and now I am the proud owner of memories that Calder and I share that I will take with me for the rest of my life, even if I never get the chance to play this game again. The last two people that I do want to thank are my wife, Jaylene, and, of course, my sexy ranch hand co-host, Calder Ness. Uh, Jaylene has been nothing but supportive uh, to me since day one. Not one time did she ever ask me to hold off on recording so that her and I could spend time together or make fun of or belittle the idea that we're playing this little game with superheroes. Uh, but when I told her the two times, uh, hey, Calder and I are, Calder's flying in so we can drive over to Origins Game Fair, so I'm going to be gone a week. She just told me to have fun. She knew how much this podcast meant to me before I even had to tell her. And I guess sometimes the closest people in your lives just know how you're feeling without you ever without ever needing to ask. She is my best friend and honestly helped me get through the rough patches that I had over the last few years. And I can't thank her enough for that. And lastly, to Calder. You have been the greatest co-host that anyone could ever ask for. It took us a while to get our flow in the beginning, <laughs> that's for sure. But in a weird way, it's a type of relationship that I don't know if I'll ever have with anyone ever again. That type of relationship where you finish each other's sentences and know exactly what the other person is thinking uh, sometimes without ever needing to ask. For every hour that we spent recording, there was another two hours that we, we chatted, made jokes, gave each other crap for no reason. And there's probably only a few handfuls of days in the last two years where we didn't get to talk to, where we didn't talk to each other at least once a day. You're truly like a brother to me. And I I can't think of a better person that I would gladly turn over the reins of this podcast to than you. I know you're going to kill it when I'm gone. I have no doubt about that. So thank you for being there for me for the last two years. You have no idea how much that means to me. This last bit is really just a bit of fan service for you, and I knew you would appreciate it. It's a quote you already know, but I wanted to throw this in because everyone needs a reminder every once in a while. Doesn't matter what the press says, doesn't matter what the politicians or the mobs say, doesn't matter if the whole country decides that something is wrong, is something right. This nation was founded on one principle above all else, the requirement that we stand up for what we believe, no matter the odds or the consequences. When the mob and the press and the whole world tell you to move, your job is to plant yourself like a tree beside the river of truth and tell the whole world, no, you move. So that's it, guys. That's my last diatribe. Now, I'm off to make my country proud, so wish me luck and do me one favor. Stick around. Get more involved with the Dial H community. Spread the positivity that Calder and I have tried to foster over the last two years. Be the change that you want in the game. I want Dial H to be even bigger in a year, in two years, than it has ever been. And as I have said many times on the podcast before, this is a podcast about legacy. You are responsible for keeping this community alive and thriving. So thank you, everyone, for everything that you've done and everything that you've said, especially these last couple of months. So hopefully for not the last time, bye, guys. Mutt, 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 mutt